How, how, tell me how a company like Microsoft can arrive here. I have been using Microsoft products ever since DOS, Windows 3.1, ever since. I've been at this for over 25 years. And I'm done. I am done with Microsoft Windows. Completely, absolutely, entirely done with everything that they're forcing us that we don't want to have in an operating system. Listen, all I use Windows 11 for now is gaming. That's it. And I suspect if they've drove me away, I don't use anything with Windows for productivity work at all. I switched to Apple for now. If they do the same thing, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. But in any case, they turned me off entirely from the operating system because of this kind of junk. If you enjoy this content, you can throw me a thanks by doing everything that's up here. Like, share, subscribe, and of course, hit that notification bell and comment. Now, I did a video a while back on the Steam OS. Now, some of you might think that the Steam OS is just about the Steam Deck. That's not the case at all. It is an operating system, both on the full screen mode when it comes to gaming, but also it's kind of like Linux, you know, it's more tailored towards gaming and focused that way. So it's a little bit limited when it comes to things that you can do with it that you can do with Linux. And you know, there's many Linux distros and I'm not gonna get into all that stuff. But I did a video about I hope that Valve pushes the living heck out of the Steam OS. And they can get so many partners on board AMD, Intel, you know, everybody on board. So we as gamers, PC gamers, particularly can install something like the Steam OS on our computer system and play games because that's what gamers want. They want an operating system, unbloated, no AI, no fancy stuff, no forcing us to do this or do that or, you know, whatever. Just something basic, overall, and simple that we can enjoy and we can play games on. But instead, Microsoft is going down this road where they're going to force now automatic app updates. They're going to force them. Now, apparently, you can pause them for a maximum of five weeks, but you know, at the end of the day, they're forcing them. Listen, it's on you to do updates. And if you don't want to do updates, that is up to you. It shouldn't be up to Microsoft, should it? Of course, all of this is in the namesake of making you, you more secure because your apps are updated. That's probably generally true. It's good to do updates, you know, whether it be a BIOS update, a firmware update of some sort, a software update. It's generally a good thing. But you, you as the consumer, you're the one that has to do them. Or at least I think so. And, you know, a pop-up reminding you, that's fine. But if you choose not to do it and something happens, and it was because you did not update, whether it be your, you know, computer or whatever it is, that's, that's on you. Now, that's not always the case, because some updates are worse, are less secure. Because what, well, what I do anyway, like, for example, let's just use an NVIDIA driver as an example. So before you update to an NVIDIA driver, or any driver, or firmware, or whatever, you should go online and see what other people are saying about it. There are a few reviewers, guinea pigs of sorts, who are out there, you know, braving the storm for you or just brave people that do these updates and you can hear from them. And if you think the update is good, then update. Otherwise, don't. Now, is there a way around this? Well, maybe, maybe. They're saying that you can download apps outside of the store to avoid forced updates. So don't fall for the Microsoft apps within that, you know, little small ecosystem of Windows 11. Just download these apps outside of the store. <laughs> oh, tricks, games, you gotta love it. Anyway, what are your thoughts on Microsoft and Windows 11? And are you done? Are you finished? Have you had enough with it? Or do you maybe love Windows 11?